What's up, everybody? This is Danny and Parker. What's up, guys? We're here at Excellent Sound Studios in Hollywood, California. Hollywood. Hollywood, Holly Weird. A lot of weirdos out today. Got hair metal bands out in the other room. Just screaming and sucking. Just a glam fest. It's a glam fest. Uh, yeah, so before we do anything, what we're going to do today uh, is we're going to be remaking the saw, the future bass saw, in this song for Slushies, I Still Recall. But before we do anything, make sure that you guys like share subscribe uh, right now we're gonna be on Facebook live on YouTube make sure you go to that on uh, snapchat Instagram Craigslist 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 YouTube YouTube especially I already said YouTube uh, Netflix we need Netflix passwords <laughs> yeah. ASAP Netflix yeah so uh, make sure the tag is at excellent sound and it's X L N T right did I say it right yep Cool. Oh, yes. So I'm going to go over uh, today uh, how I made the chords for this song. There is I also remade the lead, and we tried to find some similar samples. We're going to go over some of that stuff, but mainly we're going to be going over the chords today to show you guys how to make it and sound super cool like Slushy himself. Slushy with two eyes is how he does it. Um, so yeah, I'm not forgetting anything else in the intro, am I? No, I think we're... Oh, wait, I, do, I am forgetting something. Parker is not the only one here with me today. Today we also have uh, Nick Salucci in the back. He is in charge of research and development. He will not come on camera, but just know that he is here and his heart is full of uh, determination. And lots we're super, ex lots of determination. We're super excited that he's here. He's texting on the Snapchatters. Uh, Kenny G is here on the AV as per usual. Get him, Mike. How you doing? Get him. Yes. <laughs> I'm really excited for this tutorial. I want you to really give it to me. I'm going to give it to you. <laughs> just like that sax. Just, just, just give it to you. Uh, who is not here and who is blowing it, and he's going to watch this later, Ian is not here because he has dysentery, but that's not an excuse to have food poisoning because you ate clam chowder with your girlfriend and got sick. Yeah, so not an excuse. We have no dance moves today because Ian is not here at all. Zero. All right, but anyway, let's on a more serious note. Let's get into this. First, I'm going to show you guys uh, some stuff I did. I'm going to show you guys we did the lead. I'm not going to go over the synth. Uh, we did a tutorial on it. We might redo it for you guys. Uh, if you want us to, just let us know. Um, we might go uh, another live stream and do it and show you guys. Uh, but yeah, we got this uh, the lead synth, which is kind of like, like this. It's, a, it's like a little glidey synth. Um, we got chords, which are what we are going over today. Oops, don't look at that yet, guys. It's a secret. This guy. Really cool voicing. Um, some kicks I did. I had some kicks here. Um, I don't know which kick this is. It's kick 24. Um, I went ahead and put it in impulse. Messed with the decay. Turned the volume down. A little bit of EQ. It's a good little slapper, like future bass kick. It sounds really good. For the snare, I tried to get as close as I could for uh, Slushy Snare. And what I did is I used uh, two snares. I used uh, Vengeance V Dub 2 Snare 296, which sounds like this. I'll just do this. It's kind of a fatter snare. I didn't put anything on it. Uh, and then I used uh, one of Cymatics' Terror Heavy, which is a dub set snare. It kind of has that, like, a little bit more. Uh, a little more meat on it. Together they sound like this. Really short, just a little bit of reverb on here for, and a little bit of EQ. I boosted 200 to make it smack. Saturator, soft clip on, boosted 8 dB. I don't know why I did that, but it was aggressive and I'm okay with it. Drums, uh, what I did is a drum rack. I like to do this sometimes. Uh, if I'm just like getting something really quick, I'll throw some samples in a drum rack uh, to find like the similar samples. And then what I'll do later is I will uh, go back and separate those so I can have more control. But I got a basic EQ here cutting out the lows um, and a little bit of reverb to give it some width. And a saturator soft clip on as per usual. Um, I got Cymatics Jaws hi-hat. Sounds like, let me solo this, this bitch. Sounds like this. Oh God, it sounds so oh, good. So, nice. so good. Cashmere Acoustic. It sounds like a splash. And Cymatics Ride. 
good little dubstep ride. Uh, and on the low end, we got the hip hop sub bass in Ableton stock. If I if you haven't heard me talk about this already, I love this. It's a good sub bass. Instruments, operator, bass, hip hop sub bass is where where is it? Oh, there it is, right there. Bam. Yeah, great bass. Doesn't need a lot of work. Uh, cut out the low end. Um, you can do some more stuff too. You can boost some of the overtones. Let's see if you guys can hear it. Um, hopefully you can. I added some saturation to give it some grit. Um, you can do cool stuff like this. Turn up the tone. Distortion too. Sounds like some Oshi bass or some shit. Um, yeah, so it's a good sub. I got a side chain channel for the kick and I have a side chain for the snare right here. And then I have the reference, which is uh, slushy. I like this mic a lot better. It's it sounds a lot better. so much better. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's get into this guy right here. We're gonna be making this chord, future bass chord. You can use it like in any sort of future bass song, even house too. I use this all the time uh, with a little bit of tweaking. A little bit of editing, you can get it to fit anything. Anytime I have any sort of saw remake, I start with this saw because it's so perfect. Uh, it usually sounds good. Again, with saws is they don't really sound that great by themselves, but the real good saws are really uh, mix into your mix very well, which is like what this one does, I feel like. It doesn't really sound crazy. And that's the trick is being able to know what's gonna fit in there. So we're gonna get right into this. Uh, let's go ahead and make a new MIDI track. I'm gonna delete this one because that was from before. So that's when we got interrupted by the hair metal band. This, what was that one dude that Sebastian Bach? Yeah. What, what was his name of his uh, fucking band? Oops. Oh, oh, sorry, remember. I'm not allowed to say. I'm not allowed to say the F word. Sorry, Kenny. That, that his, his, band. his fart knocking I band. Remember. Uh, wh whenever we talk about things, we can't remember them when we're going live. Uh, what was the name? A uh, Skid Row. Skid Row. Skid Row. Ian's usually the one with the answers. That's because Ian's a nerd. Uh, so let's drag our MIDI down here. Bam. Solo it. Let's go ahead and go to plugins and serum. Do you use AUs or VSTs? Quick question. If you're following along at home, comment. Comment, like, share, subscribe. I don't know which one I like to use. I feel like if I use AU because it's Apple, I'm not going to have an issue with it. But with VSTs, I might. I might be completely wrong. I have no idea. I should probably Google it. Um, so anyway, we're going to start with this guy. It's going to start with just a, open a saw wave. We're going to use that. It's going to sound like this. Just kidding. It's going to sound like this. Cool. So you get the point. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to give it seven waves of unison. Why, Parker? Seven's the magic number. Because seven's the magic number. We're going to turn the detune down to about right there at 0.10. Um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to turn the pan to the left. I will show you that in a little bit as to why we're doing that. Um, and that's pretty much it. Oh, uh, yeah, blend stays here. Blend is the volume of the, the voices of unison. I could turn them all the way up. That's more detune or louder versus like the center. It's a little bit less, so keep the blend right about where it is right now. Um, then that's it for the first oscillator. You guys are doing so well. This is so great. Parker's following along. He's great learning job. so much. Great job. Oscillator B, saw wave, same thing. Set it to an octave above. Um, we're going to add six of unison because why not? We decided six was the magic number, not seven. We're turning the detune maybe right about there. Um, and that looks pretty good. We're going to turn the phase to about right there at 241. So again, detune at the center at noon. We got blend at noon also. No, actually, blend is all the way up. I forgot. Blend is all the way up. Phase is going to be right there about uh, 2 o'clock. Uh, and for the warp mode, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using sync. I've talked about this before. What I like to do with sync is I like to use it as a uh, as kind of a, a way of uh, making a higher pitch. Sometimes I like to do it. Uh, it can add an octave to uh, your wave because it's doubling it. And a lot of times, instead of just doing two octaves, I might use sync and one octave just to give it a little bit different uh, tonality to it.
you can hear the pitch goes higher as I go up. I'm gonna put it right there, that says 1.6. Okay, so for LFO1, we're going to uh, pull this guy up to about right there. And on the other side, we're gonna do the exact same thing. So it's gonna look like that. We're gonna set it on uh, trigger mode and we're gonna set it to a bar ratio. And what this guy's gonna be doing is, this is gonna be kinda of like um, adding a different attack. Now you could add attack here and do that, but I like to have this, uh, and I'll show you why in a second. So now we're gonna turn our volume down of oscillator one all the way down, and as well as oscillator B is gonna be all the way down. You're gonna take LFO one, and you're gonna put it on level one of oscillator A. And then for oscillator B, you're gonna do the same thing, but you're not gonna go all the way up, you're gonna to go to about right there. Now you're gonna hear what it sounds like. And it's kind of swelling, you can hear, it sounds pretty cool. Um, Parker asked a question earlier about the macros, about how you can really use them to have fun. I don't use a lot of them, but in this case, it would be really cool for you guys if you wanna use it just to make your synth more interesting because you're not just gonna use it just for this, you can use it for other things because it's a good saw. I promise that it, if you ever need to saw, this one will be really good. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you, young Parker. He's not young, Parker knows a lot of shit. Parker actually Parker actually helped me make the sound, I was screwed. Every time Parker comes in, like the last minute, and like it's like, hey, you need to do this, and he's always right. Probably the Thai food too. The Thai that helps. <laughs> the Thai food. Yeah. Uh, okay, so take macro one, right, and let's put it on on bar of LFO one, and let's pull it back a little bit. Or you can do it all the way up. Um, actually, we'll do it all the way up. And what's gonna happen is when I hit play, and I'm gonna turn this up. So I get some cool different rhythms, which is like super fun. Um, so yeah, you can do that, and then you can just go ahead and click it, rename it, and just say, uh, you know, we'll call it LFO one rate. And then you can automate it if you want. Um, I'm not gonna be doing it right now. I'm gonna keep it down because that's all we really need it for. Uh, but just yeah, cool. Another like cool little thing you can do. Um, you can add this to other things, which we'll do. Um, we'll mess around with this after we're done with it to get some different stuff too. Um, okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to LFO2. And with LFO2, this guy's gonna be, uh, you're gonna pull him all the way over to the left, right over here. Um, and you're gonna pull it up so it's a little bit more of like a bendy shape, like this. We're gonna set this on trigger, and it's going to be a bar as well. And what this is gonna go on, LFO2, is you're gonna put it on the uh, fine tune, and you're gonna set it to minus 15 is what I have it at. So set fine tune to minus 15 cents. And then we're gonna pull this down to about right, right about there. So what this is doing, I'll say like 12. And what this is doing is this is, um, when you mess with the fine tune, it's also adding more detuning rather than just this guy right here, which we can do a lot with. I can add another LFO on that if I want to get some different stuff. Um, oops, that messed up. Let's put that back. But with, with the fine tune, what I like about it, with automating this way, is it, it spreads it out a lot more. Um, just another cool trick to get your saws different. Um, and I think that's it for LFO2. Let's go to LFO3 real quick. And LFO3, we're gonna pull this down to about right there. Um, you can set it however you want, but I like to set it on this one. I have it set up as trigger on quarters. And this LFO3 is gonna go on the semitones uh, and just leave it as it is all the way up. Um, what this is also gonna do is add some more detuning. You can hear it kind of really, really comes together. So what you can do here is uh, we can take off, uh, you can take off trigger which is another good idea, so it's kind of more free-flowing and a little different each time. Take off BPM if you want and turn up the rate. I kind of like the way that sounds. I might leave that just for yeah, this one. Nice. Um, we're gonna be leaving the actual preset that we made for this saw in the description. Uh, feel free to download it, grab it. Uh, the one that we're following along, we're just kind of making it um, 
from from our memory and from our uh, knowledge of it. But we might change some things here and there. So they'll sound similar, but um, if you want the exact one that you heard or whatever, you can download it. But if you want to follow along, this one will sound pretty cool. Sometimes they sound better when we remake them live. Sometimes they sound better from the preset one. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, just know that we're just kind of we're, we're live, so we're free flowing and we're just kind of having some fun here. Um, so next thing we're going to do is I forgot to switch on Legato. So let's put on Legato right now. And remember, you asked me what Legato does. Yeah, what is Legato? What Legato does is it actually plays the entire note all the way through versus uh, oh. a one shot. I think I'm explaining that right. Yeah. Um, Kermode, Kermode probably knows better than I do. We have to call him up. Call Kermode. Uncle Kermode, how do you, what does Legato mean? Nobody knows. Um, okay, so the next thing we're going to do is, I think I forgot something with LFO1. Let's look at everything. So we got LFO1 on there. We got LFO2 going on the fine tune. LFO3 is messing with the semitones to give it, to give it a little bit of more width. I think it's sounding good. Oh, we're going to add the sub oscillator. Um, so go ahead and click that on and add it as a saw shape. And turn it down to, let's say, like an octave or two, maybe. Oh. Minus one octave. And let's turn the level down um, all the way. And let's automate that with this, too. So we're bringing this in, but pull it down to uh, about 29%. Now, what's really great about the way that Slushy did this song is he, you can tell he knows how to play piano because he voices his chords very well. Um, if I pull up the MIDI here, you can kind of see it's like a little interesting the way he's done it, uh, which what I really like is is he, um, um, he used the bass notes as like a harmonizing. Not, it's not always just the root note of the chord. Uh, and what that can do a lot of times is... Uh, add some interesting uh, emotion to some chords that you wouldn't normally have. I really dig that a lot. Um, so yeah, that's what he, he does. I, I kind of took it and learned. Like my bass here isn't the same. Let's see, that's a, what is it? It's a B, right? So my bass note, my root note is a B. And on my chords, my root note is a G. And when B and G are playing together, it's giving a really good harmonization. Just good songwriting is really what's what's doing that. I'll show you them together. So that one I love. I just love the way it, like doesn't that like it's not just like it a normal really like good. triad. You know what I'm saying? It's like it adds something about the yeah, just the way that it feels. So voicing. So just don't always just use your root note from your chord. Uh, play around with some of your bass notes and get some interesting stuff to add some more emotion. That's really what will set you apart. Um, let's get back into this guy. I'm getting a little... Well, I'm not really getting sidetracked. We're, we're live. We're fucking around. Um, okay, so the next thing we're going to do... Uh, we got him on Legato. We got our saw. We're good on that. Let's go ahead and open up our effects. And go ahead and open up a hyper dimension. Turn the mix down to about right there. Leave it on four unison. Uh, and let's turn the size down to there. And with the mix knob, we're going to leave it... Uh, actually, no. We're going to turn it up to about right there. And we're going to do, we're going to throw, actually, we're going to put our LFOs on at the end. Uh, so that's good for that for right now. Uh, go ahead and add a distortion. Turn the drive up to about right there. Is that 3 o'clock? Yeah, we'll say 3 o'clock. Turn our mix down to right about there at, we'll say, 10%. Or taste. Or to taste. Or to, or to a gentleman's taste. Whatever. You, or to a gentleman's taste. <laughs> I want to get really close up in the microphone. And I say gentlemen. That's standard. Oh yeah. Nick, is that standard? It's wet in the beak. <laughs> is it what did you say it's wet in the beak? It's wet in the beak. <laughs> Coming out. Research and development. Wet in the beak. Alright. <laughs> so let's keep going. Let's add some uh let's add some reverb. And let's turn our reverb to about right there. It's a big chord sound, so we want it there. Um, let's turn our decay down. We don't want it too long. We want it a little short. And let's turn our size down too because our OTT that we're going to add, the compressor, multiband, turn the gain up, is going to add a lot. Let's hear how we're sounding so far. Just the chords. Just the chords, everybody. Can't hear them. Let's turn it up. Let's 
some of the decay down a little bit. All right, so now what we're going to do is we want the LFO1 to open up the mix knob of the hyperdimension. And what that's going to do is that's going to spread it as this, as the, uh, the sound is coming through, the mix knob will be getting uh, turned up more, which will add a lot more wider sound. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on mix and I'm going to turn it up to say 40%. I'm going to do the same thing for the distortion, except I'm going to tone this guy back a little bit. I'm going to turn the mix down to the reverb just a little bit because it's sounding a little metallic for me. Uh, turn the threshold down and turn the size down to the decay. That's more like it. And I think that should be pretty much it for this saw. Again, this is a, uh, a remake of what we did earlier and it's a remake of Slushies. I think it sounds just like his. Um, I think if you listen to Boombox Cartel, Chain Smokers, all those guys, um, what you can do is you can you can hear that they're using a lot of the same sounds. We're gonna mess with this saw a little bit more while we're still here, and kind of play around and get some interesting stuff so that you guys can mess around with too. Um, but let's hear it in context. Let me hear the first one. This is the original one we did. This is the new one. Now let's hear it with. Uh, just uh we're gonna take the old the first one out we're gonna do the one we just made with the mix hey it sounds pretty good it sounds pretty 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 good so sounds yeah really close um i think it sounds really close too Let's uh let's let's keep going into this guy now that we got it close. You guys have it, uh, and let's play around. Let's have some fun. Um, let's mess with this synth and let's get some interesting stuff. Oh, one more thing you're gonna want to do too is you're gonna want to add an EQ. Um, so let's go ahead and add an EQ. Oops, don't hit tab. Don't ever hit tab. EQ, cut out some of the lows. Up lows. Sounds pretty good. And then maybe boost some of the top end too. All right, now let's start playing around with some of Parker's macros to get some interesting stuff. So you can get a cool little, you can even do a different drum beat with that. Um, also, let's turn down the LFO rate right now. I'm going to add a filter. I'm going to select A, B, and S for the sub. Turn the volume. I'm going to set the filter to 18. I'm going to turn my um, reverb down because I don't want it to be too much for this. We're going to make this very flume like now so add a new LFO do this shape right here put it on trigger and throw it on the cutoff maybe try it like this shift alt it's very sizzly so let's turn down the distortion let's turn that down let's turn down the gain a little bit it's sizzly because of our, our processing. It doesn't like it. So I'm going to freeze this guy real quick. If you're having problems with your um, um, with your CPU, just freeze some tracks. That'll help out a lot. And a lot of time what you can do, a um, little side note, is we can go ahead and make like a track right here. And I can just take this after I've frozen it, hold option, and drag down. Now it's audio. So just cool little trick that helps me out a lot but um let's go back into here and let's keep playing around sounds kind of flimmy right yeah it's now, dirty now let's let's take this macro um and let's add a new let's say this is lfo4 rate 
and let's add it right there. And I'm going to hit Shift Alt or Shift Option to go down a little bit more. And I'm going to play with this guy so I can get some interesting rhythms. It's a little too much. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. Right, maybe right there. Also, too, I'm going to put on triplet too to get real flimmy. And then now, what you can do, let's go. Um, what you can do is you can um, make your own different interesting rhythm. Let's mute this. Let's mute this lead. Let's turn this up low. Now you can just automate this if you want. Like watch. Or maybe maybe we'll take these notes and let's go ahead and select them all. And then if I hit legato, we'll go. Yeah, there we go. But maybe I don't want them all that long. Maybe I want to take them all and just select them all. Shift arrow left over. Does that. Maybe right there. Now let's play with this macro. So let's make a, an automation lane right now. This is all on the fly. And we'll say macro one. And I'm gonna use the pen tool or the pencil tool and put it right there and hear how it sounds. And then now I'm gonna do this maybe down a little bit more. Change the grid, command one is gonna make it uh, smaller and command two is gonna make it bigger. So let's add this right here. That's pretty sick. I don't usually use the pencil tool. I always really? like highlight. Yeah, I usually highlight the what I want to pull well, up like, and down. Yeah, see the pencil tool I like doing if I'm making a grid because then I know it's like okay, I know it's that. It's cool. It's it's. Bad. It's a little. I don't know. It's just a little bit more precise in that sense. Yeah. But in your way too, um, with just clicking it, it just it it can be even more precise but I just this is quicker it takes for a little me. longer yeah and then what I could do with this the reason why I like this is I could just dial this guy I could kind of push him down and and I can I can listen to it back and forth rather than like click a bunch of times for which, sure so different applications for different things um, we can also mess some more with um, Maybe we mess with a oh, great singer. Um, so we got this cool filter. Let's. Oh, you had an idea earlier where you said let's let's mess with uh, let's put a macro. Oh yeah, for the reverb. Yeah. Let's or, yeah, we, we're gonna do that, and we're gonna make a macro for. Oh, I should label this. This is L F O. For rate or what we can do is we can also um, make this our own type of opening riser which I'll show you so a lot of times like, I want like a cool filter sound or something um, so I'm gonna take LFO 5 right now we're gonna do your reverb thing too Parker don't you worry and I'm gonna set this to say two bars and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a filter at the very, very end of this. And this filter is going to be a low MG6. And I'm going to turn the cutoff down. So we shouldn't really be hearing too much. I'm going to solo it. So you shouldn't be, here to be able to hear it too much. And then what I want is I want it to slowly open up with this guy. So let's get that guy to work. Oh, someone's about to need to move. Oh, or oh, actually, we're going to move it over here. Let's do it slower. So as it's opening, the cutoff is opening. So you can do some interesting stuff. Or you can automate an Ableton, too, if you want. Get a little build tool and then let's also do this for the uh the reverb too as well let's try that out take lfo6 and we'll add um a reverb here that works and 
let's throw this uh, right here. Let's have that open up too. Um, actually, no, let's keep it. So we move that, my bad. Let's put on LFO5 and have that slowly open up too. It's kind of cool way. Or we can do like what Parker's saying. I'm gonna take this off real quick. Remove all modulators. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, add a new macro. I'm gonna put it on the mix of the wet dry. And I think I can also put it on, no, we'll just leave it at that. We'll just say wet reverb. And then I can I can do automation too where I open it up. Oh, not that, let's say open it up. So yeah, again, just some cool things you can do with macros. Um, a lot of fun to do. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed uh, this synth. Uh, we are at Excellent Sound is our tag. I think that's good for today. Uh, we're going to be doing uh, another video on this, the possibly the Slushy Lead. We're going to be trying to do one a week for you guys. Uh, if you have any requ uh, requests at all, like please let us know. Um, we're having a lot of fun doing these videos. Ton of fun. Um, the tag is at XLNT Sound. We are on, again, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Craigslist, Netflix. Not Netflix. We need a Netflix account. We, we do need a Netflix account. Um, we're going to go out with this song on the way out. Uh, am I missing anything else that I need to talk about? I think you nailed it. Did I do a good? So I shouldn't have even said anything. Kenny's got something. Kenny's got a mic in his hand. Go ahead, Kenny. Hold on. We want you to come through. Did you mention that we're live? Oh, yeah. We're live, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> if you didn't already figure that out because we've been doing this so much um here well, you want to you want to text this guy for me parker real quick so i yeah. can do the outro while we while we ride it out yeah somebody wants me to move their move my car but they can go themselves um yeah so uh we're live we're live we're gonna be doing a lot of live streams and then we might be doing some some separate tutorials but we're just posting live streams because you know we like we like hearing from you guys oh out. what was those what were the kids names on youtube we gotta shout them out was it hey man uh, B buck dj kev dj kev I, I forgot you guys you guys know who you are you guys been asking us for for different sounds we're working on them. We will try our best to get them to you, and hopefully we can do a video on it. We appreciate your guys' support, always commenting. Uh, we love you guys. Uh, I really want to know their names because I don't. I feel like if I, I should say their names. They'll comment. They'll, They'll comment. comment. You know who you are. Yeah. I've been talking to you. You've been talking Keep to me. Keep saying what's up. Keep saying what's up. We love it. We, we appreciate you guys. Let's go out with a bang. Let's go out with a song. Let's go out with a tear. Uh, again, I'm Danny Ferrari at Excellent Sound Studios in Hollywood, California. Holly Weird. I got oh, Parker here. I got uh, Kenny G in the back on AV. I got Nick S and research and head of research and development. Um, and what did you say today? What was the what was the term of the day? <laughs> We're just wetting the beak. We're I just wetting the beak. The beak. <laughs> We're over here at Excellent Sound. We're just wetting the beak. All right, let's go out. Wait, I got to make sure everything's on solo. Now let's try again. <laughs>